We have made a new control system. It's all made with the cute uh, on visual side and also on controller side. So it's been really exciting uh, moments. The user's area is automation system, but uh, since we're working with ships, we have made a ship automation system. You have a set of alarms coming in and you have to watch that and sometimes you get flooded with them alarms. You don't want to have it, but some place you have and you can should easily filter those alarms to see, okay, these are all internal alarms, these are coming with power management, these are more on the propeller side of it, and cooling, for example. So it's easy to get in there, looking at it, do whatever needed and go back again. Alarm lab is seeing how the alarm is now started and this is within an hour so you can have looks and trending in so this is coming on and off okay this alarm combines with another alarm for a trained operator he can easily do the pattern matter matching and see what's actually happening instead of reading through pages and pages and pages of information or he can look at the most frequent alarms saying okay this is winding temperature okay I had to do something with it might be some harmonic distortion or whatever then he had to solve that problem if I just want to do this fast filtering okay something with a let's say the bow thruster okay bow thruster is one then I got all the alarms relating to that bow thruster and I can also have different sectors and priority all kind of advanced filtering mechanism that's normal ballasting thing this is special application that we had need extra work with Qt because they are uh, good at making things uh, available for us as well that we have the, uh, the great team together this is complex can be a complex picture although we have automatic configurations we needed uh, the Qt company to work with this make an editor and we made this together with the team at Qt so we can save it back again and this is typical the tanks we can see what, the, what is in it we can have valves uh, pumps and well this is open and close of the valves uh, and we can start and stop pumps all through the different uh, QMLs we made uh, so far. We've done all our own SCADA type of uh, application with Qt. This, this demo is a uh, half year old but the exact, exact system is going to have uh, 14 cabinets with IOs and if we're going to have a look inside them we can have a look where the actual error is, if the card is gone, broken, there's alarm on the switch uh, and you can have electricians walking down there and remove the car, put something in again. But this is all automatically drawn by the, the configurator. The thing we normally do is that we get in the I.O. list, the component list, when you do an automation, you, we're doing integration, okay? So get that list in, we have our own tools to pick from a database of components, like tanks, pumps, valves, uh, bus breakers, diesel generators, uh, motors, engines and within that tool we configure that all together and when we deploy this we auto generate a lot of XML files com uh, for all the visual objects but for the most complicated pictures which you have in the typical SCADA, plot, uh, SCADA systems that they are tedious boring engineering okay we have made this GUI editor together with the Qt company uh, that takes all those different small uh, QMLs, the widgets, there, place them all over the place on, on that screen. It's easy to drag and drop those symbols. That takes not much time. And we do the piping uh, between those as they, you have the aesthetics for the human touch on this and we can add more visual features to it and then save it and we do this only once for making the most comp uh, complex uh, graphic user interface. Everyone wants to do fun work. I mean, 
this drag and drop in these tedious uh, SCADA packages which spend hours, I mean we could spend up to 1300 hours making such a system because they're pretty complicated and you have a lot of works working with mimics and the code in the mimic, mimics now with that is all redundant so we can also have people playing with our tools both our own people application engineers and also customers to do some changes because you get customers that want customization personification too so i want to see those tanks combined with some other uh, units another system together can you make that and you can easily make that kind of special for you thing that's really really amazing because from go this thousand or twelve hundred hours again to, down to fifty and hundred hours because once you have structured your information what you want to do we just import that information through our own tools and auto generate the files instead of sitting there and they come with a new one line uh, diagram so I have to look at that I put it into Excel sheets and they have to do in the Scala packages. It takes ages and ages to do all this kind of boring revision. It got rid of all that. So you have to have the correct information. Once you have the correct information, you get the correct output. But as always, if you get the wrong information in, you get the wrong information out. That's how it is. But the information is only at one place. Because many of those tools like you should go into this system and that system and down into the PLC system and you do all the kind of manual iteration, iterations. Don't do that. We have a system for that all because we deploy to all units the code, the, the configuration.